inspiration i am boogie um just wanted to shoot a little vlog today um we went to, to eat earlier at longhorn me and my mother and now she's inside family dollar if i wasn't being lazy i should have went in there but i mean y'all probably know what family dollar looks like right so um she's gonna do the bathroom over and i think we're gonna just chill and watch movies and have a girl's day yeah <laughs> so if you're new here and you enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are returning thanks for coming back and yeah oh i'm gonna show y'all these two t-shirts i got from walmart too hopefully i remember to do that later but yeah just a simple boring vlog in my 30s i think i'm gonna call it that but i'm blessed right all right y'all see y'all in a bit Y'all see him hanging out? Oh, we can't really try to get closer. Come on, come on. Come on. He is chilling. Do a quick little haul. So I went to Dollar Tree yesterday. Got this cute little purple pen. Can y'all see it? It's cute. I got a journal. It says, "You are enough. Take your time. Be kind to yourself. Love." Let me just space for you to write stuff. So keep you motivated. I'm definitely at a time where I want to write and recenter. Got a doodle journal. You know, doodle. Write down some creative ideas and things like that. Got another one. Which one y'all like better? I like this one. And I just thought this one was cute. It's a regular, what is this, hot paint? notebook it has like a little shimmeriness on it oh hold on you can see the ring light reflection let's pull it back so okay got that and that was that now i went to walmart yep i'm showing y'all walmart so this is a realistic um day so got the vegetable oil spray Use this for your air fryer or whatever else you need. Got some eggs. Y'all check y'all eggs. Before y'all get... <laughs> I'll be looking at you like, really? Yeah. Ignore cheddar and broccoli. So, we're, we saw this recipe for... Um, Salmon bites. Yeah, I'm getting better. Salmon. Just learned that it's not salmon. Salmon. And um, so we're going to have that, I think, tomorrow with the cheddar and broccoli rice. And bite! The broccoli. Always stacking up on the broccoli. The mozzarella cheese. Oh, yeah, because for that... We're gonna make this biscuit pizza thing that's in a bunk pan. So it has, it has pepperoni in it. You put your mozzarella cheese. Got some marinara sauce. And we got some jumbo biscuit. It looks kind of like a, would you say, like a monkey bread or something like that? Yeah, in a bunk pan. Why well, you could talk? Parmesan Lay that. Cheese. Yeah, and Parmesan cheese gonna be so good i think we'll probably have that tomorrow so this is gonna be like a full weekend vlog so you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog and yeah oh got some ground beef 
Oh, and here's the stand in. I can pull it out. And expanding. Trying healthy living. If y'all don't know, I am down 25 pounds. <laughs> Helping with my further weight loss goals. And got us some Drano for the stubborn tub. <laughs> and all purpose cleaner. All purpose. That's it. This is just a quick little basic little haul. Right now, I think we're going to find something on TV. Uh, maybe sip some wine and chill. I'll try to capture that tonight. And it's Saturday, and then if it's not much more of that, I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Guys, I forgot I got these slippers from Amazon. Look at them. Let me show you. Look cozy, right? Can't wait to try them on. I should have got a size bigger, but they are comfortable. Just, just fitting. Y'all, I forgot to show you my t-shirts. This was the best part. All right. Got these from Walmart. Hold on. Ice Cube. Today was a good day. Y'all know that song? Today was a good day. Look it up if you don't know. Love that. Then... People. It has like a. Let me take this off. She can't see it. It's like reviewing people. Ooh. This one is the shirt. It's absolute nightmare. Would not recommend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh <laughs> People get five stars. <laughs> I mean, I'm a five star type of person, but. Not many of us out there. No, the more stars you get. No, five. No, five stars is good. With one star, you suck. Absolutely, oh. would not recommend. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, absolute nightmare. Yeah. Right. I know some one stars. All right, y'all. See you later. Let me tell y'all about this book too. I started. Don't believe everything you think. Why Your Thinking is the Beginning and End of Suffering by Joseph Nugent. Um, get down. Dog's going crazy. Um, I like it. Um, I'm at a point in the book where it's talking about like the difference between your thoughts and your thinking. And basically how we can't control the different thoughts that come into our mind. Which is, I mean, true. Like, especially if you of any anxiety or whatever or any mental difficulties um but thoughts and thinking is two different things and even if you read the bible it talks about tells you what to think of what what things to think of whatever is true whatever is pure what is lovely whatever is admirable think of these things so we can have thoughts of all types of things but that doesn't mean we have to think about them and ponder them and analyze them that realization has been helpful because sometimes we whatever crosses our mind immediately sometimes we take it to heart and internalize it and dwell on it and think that your thoughts equal your thinking i don't know if that's making sense to you guys but if you get the book it'll, it'll explain better but i'm reading that right now and um uh, it's definitely helping um, along with obviously meditating on things I know to do that's in the word, word of God. But um, pretty good. Further illustrate my point, I'm going to just read this little passage here so you know. Okay, it says, if I ask you a question, you will 100% have a thought that pops into your mind. Because we're always having thoughts, right? Thoughts are not inherently bad. They are intrinsically neutral. The moment we think about our thoughts is when we begin to take 
to get taken on an emotional roller coaster. When we think about our thoughts, we begin to judge and criticize the thoughts and experience all sorts of internal emotional turmoil. That right there, you, know, you don't have to even read the whole thing. But that right there is a lot, right? You know, because how much, how often do we sit there and really get in a funk over the thoughts that come into our head and think about them and give them a lot of value? When a lot of time, when really thoughts are, mind is constantly going. Especially too, if you're, you know, if the day and time we live in with all the technology, we are so highly stimulated, overly stimulated, that, that I feel like that's going to even add on to your thoughts. And then society's pressures, et cetera, et cetera, just life be life and, you know, so. I thought that was helpful. Let me know if that was helpful to you. Um, get the book. It's not that, not, not that long. today and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Our things don't with the money. Let's talk about processing it, y'all. Got my writing on real quick. But it feels good. Some clarity for me. My goodness. Um yeah. Let's write it down, y'all. Write it down. You mind say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> So we're going to make this pizza, pull apart, monkey bread, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. So she got biscuits. Okay, now, so. We can open it. Yeah. Spread down, spread down. All right. Now, got your biscuits. Biscuits, baby. Biscuits, we're gonna babe. Cut them into fours. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Y'all get the picture right. So I'm going to show that part and then we're going to come right back. You know? Yeah. So we Wait, got that. This open. So we're about to this put thing. that yeah. pepperoni. It's going to be so good. All right. So. First thing you're gonna do is pour a melted stick of butter Ooh. all on it. Ooh la okay. la la. And you're gonna put your mozzarella cheese. Your mozzarella. <laughs> get it open. Look at this. These tricky, tricky bags. I can cut it down for a minute. Eat a piece of pepperoni for good luck. Okay. Y'all heard about that? Eat a piece of uh, We're going to put some minced garlic. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Parmesan yeah. cheese. Everything seasoning, everything bagel seasoning, everything bagel seasoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that flavor and in some there. Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. Get rid of Need a little more. Mm -hmm. Boom. Part 
start the pepperoni. I need all these. Pepperoni if you're phony. Yeah, let's boy, let's hold it. Yeah. Right. Ain't no half stepping. Nope. Just we can mix this up. Get messy. Don't worry. Get it down. Get funky with it. Yeah. Get jiggy with it. Like Will Smith say. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Get it distributed. That's right. I know it's going to be good. Yeah, this already greased. Yep. So we're putting it back, y'all. Can't really see it. No. No. Let me see the back end. All right. We're putting it back into our blunt pan. Yep. So you kind of might be starting to see what's happening here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We were tempted to add some peppers and onions because we need some peppers and onions. People. People. But you know, so we're going to stick to the recipe for the most part. Are right, we going to put it in the oven, y'all? It's done, y'all. Look at it. The cutest! Oh my gosh! Ooh, Ooh look at the cheese! Look at oh, yeah. We about to eat. Bye, y'all.